In this video, I'm going to teach you that how to fold this origami jaw that I made. Um, no, this is made by... This becomes much. And uh, it looks very cool and amazing. Yeah, it looks very cool and amazing. They even makes noise. So, let's start. And I even given the... Kami paper cut square. Or you can even get this at Amazon in this tier lockdown during time. Let's start by folding the paper diagonally in half. Make sure to make uh, strong creases. This can be side. And turn over and do the same side. Repeat. We need to estimate the edges. So this line uh, should be estimated that this measurement we are taking should be same as we have taken to this edge. So I have already got it. And uh, let's squeeze it now. Then once you, you know, get those aligned, you just pinch at the corners. Then you crease, just make a light crease. And uh, make a light crease on the other side. And sharp crease. This flap, one flap at this aligning crease. So this is very important fold. If your this um, segments are aligned properly, then it should be properly aligned. Just make one more. And do the same thing on the edge. Now you have to confirm fold. So we get. 6 inch of diagonals and valleys so these are mounted and uh, we and we need another valley fold so let's fold here now turn over so these mounted on this edge should be like this valley and now these both edges should be the teeth so let's fold uh, let's make the teeth and now fold on this edge, like this, very sharply, like this, and you gotta unfold and make you make this crease here. Make take that small tiny flap and align it to the existing crease. I'm yeah, just made now, and I can just zoom in. So let's just start. And now unfold, and let me zoom in now. Okay, I hope you can see clearly. You see this uh, tiny point, you have to bring it to this aligning crease. So what happens? Like that. Just align it like that and crease sharply. That's a very small minor fold, that's why. And once you're done, fold this up edge. And and now convert it into segments by folding it up to the edge and uh, fold it to the edge like that. So I'm zooming in and uh, I'll skip. And I even fold on the other side. So let's turn over the page and uh, now let's do a fold in which we turn over and we take let me zoom in so as per your folding you should get one two three four four segments so you take skip the first segment take the second segment and align it to the first segment like this so we get the 24 these will be helpful and please don't unfold the Let's continue it like that on the, go on the, make sharp crease so that the teeth remains like that. So, this flap down goes up and you can avoid this tiny flap by folding it up to that edge. 
like that. Okay, and now we are done on that edge and uh, do the same thing on that edge. So let me skip again. Okay, okay, so now we are done on two sides. Let's um, now make the teeth bigger by, you know, flicking uh, over the page and measurement. So now you, after folding the teeth, you will get one existing crease. Just fold like that up. The same thing in the other edge. Uh, full dust and okay. so automatically make creases. And now we have to do another segment fold in which you have to. Oh, wait a second. Yes, so friends, now uh, we have. Now what you have to do is you have to fold one edge that goes up. And this is not an existing crease. You have to make your own fold. So let's crease sharply and uh, I'm zooming out. Okay, and uh, do the same thing on the edge. Hold up properly. So now we are made with the sharpy, clumsy teeth. That just made very spiky. <laughs> okay, yeah, now let's make adjustment, folks. Uh, so let's fold. Now, what you have to do is we need this to be appeared. So fold this edge down so that it appears till this edge. So you fold till here till this you see this um, end point of the teeth it should be aligned till there. That and once aligned you fold these two lines. Yes, and before that, we what you have to do is you take this flap and fold it to center. But you, I am giving this a warning: don't fold it. Just make a very light fold, very light fold. You know, it should be visible. If you fold it very hard, no, then uh, your spring will not work. That's why. You know, you if you want that, you know, mouth to work. If you want the mouth to work like this, then don't crease like that. And now you make this crease line. And now what you have to do is take the edge and fold it to the center. Like that. And fold on the other side like this. Don't mention it. You can just make a rabbit here. Just a little shape it later. You know. And do it the same thing on this side by folding this. Very light fold. Just for it. Just for it. And you can, if um, these beginners are doing, you know, you can just mark with pen so that you should see clearly. I'm an expert, so I don't need a pen. Um, but if, for beginners, please use a pen. Or else, if you mislead, then the gums will not be appropriate and your face will be at least ugly. <laughs> and uh, now it's done is that we fold the edge. You see this corner? Fold from this corner like that. Fold from that corner to that edge like that. Fold it from that corner. And align it and now turn over and fold so that let me zoom in so that this point aligns with this stoppage. It's good and let's align it so we get like this fold. So we can shape the gums, you already get the face like that. I know almost see the more has been done. Let's do on this side. Properly. Yeah, and uh, yes, okay. So now we have folded on this side. Okay. So we got two like this for now. And now let's make the mouth. You know what? You just 
fold what you have to do is you turn over and you see this flap here and we don't want that flap so let's fold it up to this aligning crease this crease so automatically this edge becomes this edge uh, becomes round okay and unfold and open this line this inner segment and insert the edge to that innermost pocket like that and you know you can just round it by you know pushing it so i want actual tooth so that's why i'm pushing it let's make it round so we made it round so let me zoom in and do on all these sides so the one that is just a bit but you know rounding it so these gums come out like that so once we have completed this with this one teeth we have completed and do the same thing on the edge Just you know, pull it out like that, so it becomes strong. Just push a little bit. You know. Don't make the face ugly. And so do we are in this pocket like this. So we have made it round on all these parts, and it's time for making the mouth. So you fold this edge so that this is a little bit important. So you fold this edge so that you see these two points should be aligned to the center crease. What the? These these points should be aligned to the center crease. Like that. And now very tricky for this. You just pinch at the bend here. Just pinch here at the back. So just pinch at the back. Don't fold. The mouth will not work properly. Just you know, you can make a clumsy, you know. So it's a spring should work, you know. It should act like that. And unfold and fold. just for now we have unfolded, and uh, we have to fold it later. So do the same thing on the edge. And now we are almost done with our teeth. So you can see how the teeth looks. And now fold these edges like this, turn over, and you see these pockets. So we reach these folds to that pockets. So it should be folded clean and neatly. Fold like that to the innermost pocket. something on this edge yeah, it's working well for making the full complete you flap this inside the pocket yeah just fold it inside the pocket like this and uh, Okay, so we are made with our teeth. Wow, it looks very nice and uh, small. This I done with the printer copy, you know. I made with small square, so that's why. But in A4, if you do on A4 printer paper cut square, it looks a little bit big. Okay, so it's very nice. 
and uh, it even looks like the Pokemon in Clamper like that. And a nice mouth, you know. If they're a dentist, they can make and explain everyone that how the mouth works. Those shows. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you like it. Comment, subscribe, and share to my channel. Bye. Hi friends. Um, um, this is a video that you know how to, you know, make the how to move the mouth. So you see this point here, one corner edge and one corner edge. So use your index finger and thumb. Align it to those corners and just you know how you squeeze a ball and that squeeze that yeah then the mouth already comes back like this cool